It is the first night of the San Diego International Film Festival. The event is going to highlight several films over the next few days. And ABC 10 News anchor Kimberly Hunt is in Balboa Park with a look at some of the top gala films. Hi, Kimberly. Lindsay, you can really feel the buzz down here at Balboa Park now for the opening night of the 21st annual San Diego International Film Festival. People are arriving now, going up the red carpet. We're 15 minutes away from the opening night reception. As I look around, people are, and I also see the CEO and artistic director of the San Diego Film Festival, Tanya Mantooth, joining. How do you feel tonight? You know what? I feel great. It's so much fun to be back in person and everybody coming back together. We're so excited for tonight. You have producers flying in from all over the world. Oh, we have we have about a, over a hundred directors that are flying in and filmmakers coming in to share their films all the way from Korea. It's amazing. Well, I know you're on your way in. Thank you for saying hello. Have a great festival again uh, this year. Bye, Tanya. And as she is talking about and just made very clear, San Diego's International Film Festival has become a premier stop on the film circuit. And this year, there were 3,000 submissions from over 82 countries for a total of 115 films that made the cut. And some of those are already getting Oscar buzz. The lineup for the 2022 San Diego International Film Festival is a list of dozens of studio premieres with potential to be in the running for this year's Academy Awards. The slate was selected from over 3,000 submissions from 85 countries. Something's bugging you. What is it? Sometimes kids say bad words about the black kids. Who's that? Somebody from my old school. Did they ever come to your house? What do you do when that happens? Obviously nothing, of course. You think that's smart? The film festival opens with Armageddon Time, starring Anthony Hopkins, Jeremy Strong, and Anne Hathaway. And it's a beautiful, beautiful film, kind of a coming of age film. And set in the 80s, it's really touching. Closing the festival will be Empire of Light. And nothing happens without light. Empire of Light absolutely touches on what it means to be in a theater and see what's coming out of that projector and the power of cinema. And he does it so beautifully, the cinematography of it. Tanya Mantooth, the CEO and artistic director of the San Diego International Film Festival, says the lineup of over a hundred films touches every genre. Didn't you and he used to be the best of friends? We're still the best of friends. No, you're not. Who says we're not? I said somewhere else. The Spotlight film is a dark comedy set on a remote island off Ireland in the early 1900s, starring Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson. Stop talking to me. Colin! And if you don't stop bothering me, I have a set of shears at home, and each time you bother me from this day on, I'll take those shears and I'll take one of my fingers off with them, and I'll give that finger to you until I have no fingers left. Does this make things clearer to you? Not really, no. Starting from now. The true story of an amateur historian's quest to uncover the tomb of King Richard III is told in The Lost King. I've been trying to work out why you're here. I wonder if it's because you're lost. Good Night Opie follows Opportunity's groundbreaking journey to Mars and the remarkable bond forged between a robot and her humans millions of miles away. <laughs> And the seemingly unbreakable bond between two teenagers is suddenly and tragically torn apart in the drama Close. After the showing of Taurus, the movie about a self-destructive musician starring multi-platinum recording artist Machine Gun Kelly, the actor and singer Colson Baker will receive the Spotlight Award. It was a very interesting kind of poignant, intimate look into his own life. And I found that to be very revealing that he was willing to pull back the layers and really expose him in that way. The feature films will join social impact films, Q&As with producers, parties, panels, and networking events, ending with a culinary film and a food event featuring local chefs. 
So some of the films will make you laugh, as you saw, some will make you cry, and some just make you think. In fact, social issues has always been an important part of this film festival. That sense of walking in someone else's shoes, getting empathy and understanding, it's all taught through film and shining a light on so many issues. Coming up at 5.30, I'm going to show you a film that reveals the pain and the scars that are left from sex trafficking. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, Kimberly.